Amen and amen. Wow, what an awesome time of prayer and praise. You are welcome once again to the day one of the five days of prayer. We thank God for what he is doing. And I know without any shadow of doubt that God is going to do amazing things in your life this week. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Turn with me, please, in your Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. It says, Then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of those who make merry. I will multiply them, and they shall not diminish. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. And we are blessed by the reading of God's word. I'm sharing with you briefly on a message I have titled, Engaging the Mystery of Thanksgiving for Harvest of Souls. Engaging the mystery of thanksgiving for harvest of souls. This week, we are concentrating and believing God for an unusual dimensions of harvest. Amen. Harvest, especially in the area of souls. Because God, in his infinite wisdom, gave Jesus Christ to die for our sins so that we can so that we can become all that he has destined us to become god sent jesus to die for us on the cross so that you and i can be saved and so it is important for us to not always to just focus on our own personal needs but to focus on the need of the kingdom of god and every time we seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness all other things are added unto us jesus said in the book of matthew chapter 6 verse 33 jesus said but seek first why did he say but seek first that means there were other things people were going after but jesus said we must seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you all the things you are believing god for when you seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness he brings the marriage he brings the children he brings the houses he brings the business expansion he brings everything that pertains to life and godliness that's why we have to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness so when we talk about engaging the mystery of thanksgiving for harvest of souls what are we really talking about because when jesus died on the cross for the salvation of mankind, the harvest at that point became ready. The harvest became ready. Jesus said, do not say that in four months the harvest will be ready. He said, no, the harvest is ready when? Now. And it is now our responsibility to pray the Lord of the harvest. John chapter 4 verse 34. For us to pray the Lord of the harvest to send in laborers. To send in laborers. And who are the laborers? You and I are the laborers. We have been called to be partakers of the divine nature. And to be partaker of that divine nature, we have to make sure we are joining hands with God in the expansion of his kingdom. Glory be to God. So in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19, the Bible says, And then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. So that means thanksgiving must become a deliberate and an intentional attitude that we take on. 
thanksgiving must be a deliberate and an intentional attitude that we take on. Why? Because the Bible says, in everything, what do we do? We give thanks. Not in some things, but in everything, we give thanks. So we must take on the attitude of thanksgiving. So the Bible says that out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Out of them shall proceed what? Thanksgiving. Why? Because thanksgiving is demanded from us by God. Thanksgiving is demanded from us by God. Every time we thank God, he multiplies us. Every time we thank God, he increases us. That's why it's so important for us to engage in the mystery of thanksgiving. So out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and thanksgiving must not be alone. It must come with the voice of making merry. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3, it says, With joy do we draw water out of the wells of salvation. With joy. With joy. So joy in addition with thanksgiving, quicken your process of harvest. It can be harvest in any area. But in this instance, this week, our focus is the kingdom of God. Because when we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things are added unto us. And I prophesy to every genuine member of this commission who genuinely engage this week on the altar of prayer and fasting dedicating your time and praying intensely with a heartfelt prayer by this Sunday you will have a major testimony I said by this Sunday you will have a major testimony because listen God has given me a command to bless and when I bless you are blessed I said when I bless you are blessed Numbers 23 verse 20 Numbers 23 verse 20 the Bible says that God has given us a command he said behold I have received a command to bless he has blessed and I cannot reverse it this week I'm, I've come to confirm every blessing of Jehovah upon you to be manifested remember what a prophet's reward is tomorrow about this time some of you by tomorrow you'll be sending in your testimonies some of you are unprecedented testimonies are waiting for you tomorrow by the time you get to work some of you will be receiving letters of promotion some of you will be receiving letters of business expansion some of you will be receiving letters of uh, that application for that house that you have made that mortgage that you have sent in and you are believing God for it to be approved tomorrow it shall be approved I said it shall be approved in the name of Jesus. Why? Because I have received a command to bless. And I'm here to bless you. And that which God has blessed, no devil can reverse it. So this week, engage your heart. Engage your heart with your whole family. Gather your family around the the table and let's pray together for the expansion of the kingdom of God and as we do that we'll see unusual miracles and breakthroughs in our midst like never before in the name of Jesus so Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19 the Bible says that then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry 
God says, I will multiply them. So you see who does the multiplication? Jehovah himself is the multiplier. When he's in our midst, he multiplies us. And in this week, everything we pray, God will multiply. He will multiply the souls. He will multiply the harvest. I'm telling you from this coming Sunday, there will be not room enough to receive the harvest that God is bringing. Because some of you that have not been to church in a long time, you'll be rushing to church with testimonies of joy, with testimonies of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. God says, I, Jehovah, I will multiply them. God is multiplying us. I have good news for you, Solution. God is multiplying us. And nothing can diminish us. I said, God is multiplying us. And no weapon of the enemy formed or fashioned against us shall prosper. Because God is the multiplier. He is a multiplier. He is a multiplier. And the Lord in the midst of you, he is mighty. He is in our midst. He is multiplying us. He is multiplying us from glory to glory. From grace to grace. In the name of Jesus. That's why Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60. This 22, the Bible says that a little one shall become a thousand. A little one shall become a thousand. That's a God who multiplies. He multiplies the little into thousands. Jesus multiplied just five loaves and two fishes and he was able to feed 5,000 plus. God is saying a little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, I will hasten it in its time. And when is its time? This is our time. The Lord says he make all things beautiful in his time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. He makes all things, not some things, all things beautiful in his time. So in this season, God is going to make everything beautiful. Your life will be beautiful. Your children will be beautiful. Your marriage will be beautiful. Your business will be beautiful. This commission will become more beautiful and beautiful in the name of Jesus. And every man wants something that is beautiful. Every good man wants a beautiful wife like I have. Every good man wants a beautiful wife. Beautiful children. Beautiful church. Glory be to God. This week, God will make all things beautiful. In the name of Jesus. So God is the multiplier. He said, I will make a little one become a thousand. I will make a little one become a thousand. I will make a little one become a thousand. Somebody must receive that prophecy. God says, I will make a little one become a thousand. A little one will become a thousand. I've always prophesied that the least, the smallest branch of this commission in a corner in a village somewhere, where even in that village, there is not a thousand people. In that village where there's probably about 200 people. In that village where our commission is planted, there will be not less than a thousand people attending service every week. Because God says, I will make a little one become what? A thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. Amen. Why? Because I, the Lord, I will hasten it in its time. So, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, it says, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. 
Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of those who make merry. I, Jehovah, I will multiply them. You see, the little one shall become what? A thousand. Because I, the Lord, I will multiply them. Solution, I have good news for you. Jehovah says he will multiply us. The mystery behind this commission is the hand of the Lord. Is the grace of God. Is the goodness of God. God says he will multiply us. And not only that, he said, and they shall not be, they shall not diminish. They shall not have a diminishing returns. It can never be so. We have never known a better last year. Never. Because according to Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, it says the path of the justified, the path of the righteous shined how brighter and brighter. Glory be to God. So forever we have a brighter path. Our path is always brightening up from glory to glory, from faith to faith, from favor to favor, from goodness to goodness, from abundance to abundance, from harvest to harvest. That is God's command upon this commission. Because the path of the just is shining how? Brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter. Until the perfect day of the Lord. Until the perfect day. The perfect day is when Jesus shows up here on earth. So until Jesus shows up, we will continue to be shining how? Brighter and brighter. We shall never have a diminishing return. Therefore, I prophesy to you, every genuine member of this commission who is engaging in this five days of prayer and fasting, 2020 will be your best year. 2020 has been a year of the pandemic, but for you, it will be your year of flourishing. For you, it will be your year of harvest. For you, it will be your year of multiplication. For you, it will be your year of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. So God says, I will multiply them. They shall not diminish. And not only that, he said, I will also glorify them. Hallelujah. I will glorify them. Remember, God does not share his glory with no one. But through thanksgiving, God glorifies us. When the glory of God is upon you, no devil can touch you. The testimonies that we continue to experience in this commission is by the glory of God. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. So God says, I will glorify them. I will glorify them. May the glory of God be seen upon you this week. May the glory of God be seen upon your life from henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus. God says, I will glorify them and they shall not what? Be small. (laughs) <laughs> the days of small things are over. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The days of small things are over. In the next three days, in the next three days, will be exactly, uh, today is 26, on the 29th will be exactly 13 years. 13 years that I went into full-time ministry 13 years ago. When we started from day one, I was full-time. We started from Hackney. We didn't have no member. I was full-time then. Glory be to God. On the 29th of October, is it 13 or 14 years? Can not remember? 2006. How many years? 14 years. It will be exactly 14 years, three days from today. 
God says, I will glorify them and they shall not be small. I have never been small since God called me into ministry. Never been. 14 years. Never gone to bed without food. Never slept hungry one day. Never begged for food. Never knocked on any member's door to, for help. Never called anybody on phone for a special offering. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> 14 years. <laughs> ah, glory be to God. 14 years. I have been on more holidays than people who have been working for the past 14 years. As a matter of fact, my wife and I, we've traveled to so many countries that I don't know some of the countries through just their preaching of the gospel. The gospel has taken me to places that I wouldn't have gone by myself. Through this same commission that we started 14 years ago, we have planted many branches across the world. I have sent many of my pastors on mission to different countries, paid for, flight paid for, accommodation paid for, because God cannot lie. He said, I will glorify them and they shall not be small. We have never been small. Never been. Because God cannot lie. Numbers 23, verse 19, the Bible said, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not bring it to pass? Because God is not a man. Every time he speaks, he makes what he has spoken good. Amen. Glory be to God. So this week, I want you to commit engage this time of prayer and fasting don't miss it for anything and let it be a heartfelt prayer because as we are engaging the dynamics of the kingdom of God for his expansion somebody will say but pastor the church is already full where are we going to put the remaining souls we are praying for that's not your business is God's business. For us, whatever he tells us to do, we do it. And it is his responsibility to bring in the harvest. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So this week, engage your heart. This week, engage your heart. This week, don't let anything distract you. This week, don't let anyone or anything distract you. Engage your heart fully. And as we do that, we we'll begin to see the manifestation of God's glory in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Did you receive it today? Amen. 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 So tomorrow we are continuing. Tomorrow is day two. Join us tomorrow from we are praying prayer points will be on, on the church website solutionchapel.org. Go on there, go to the latest new news page. The prayer points are there. Join in, don't miss out. Pray and fast. Whatever time you can fast up to, fast up to that time, but continue in the prayer. And then tomorrow we start the prayer at 6 15 p.m quarter past six we start prayer and then we finish at 7 30 glory were well, you not know, blessed tonight Amen. it was a powerful time of prayer the whole atmosphere is vibrating because the glory of god is in the house in jesus name Amen and amen. Well, we've come to the end of the service. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go from this place with this confidence and assurance, knowing 
that Christ in you is the hope of glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. The Lord give you peace on every side. Amen. May he cause you to be the head and not the tail. Amen. Go from this place with this confidence and assurance knowing that you are a solution to the nation. We love you. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Thank you for answers to all our prayers. We honor you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for the release of our reaper angels who have gone onto our harvest field. Thank you, Lord, that they are drafting in unprecedented harvest of souls. Thank you, Lord that the heaven is open upon us this yes, week. Lord. Let our answers come speedily. Yes, Amen. In Jesus' name.